An Indianapolis family spent days searching for their cat who ran away. In fact, they put up pictures, even posted online. But a picture of their cat that showed up on the website of Indianapolis Animal Care Services, as you can imagine, it really gave them a lot of hope. But as our Emily Longnecker shows us tonight, their hope quickly turned into heartbreak. It's sad. I mean, we've had him for over two years, and he is part of our family. But the Walker family has one less member tonight, missing the cat you see in Santa's arms from last year's Christmas photo. And my kids are upset. They're like, well, we're, we're sneaky. The Walker's cat, Sneaky, disappeared last Friday after going outside. We put up signs. Um, we've driven around. We put stuff on the Internet. They also called the microchip company they registered Sneaky with when the Walkers adopted him at Indianapolis Animal Care and Control two years ago. And they had no, no call that it, it was, uh, had been scanned. Then Tuesday morning, an email alert saying a cat matching Sneaky's description had been listed on the shelter's website. When the Walkers went online, they saw Sneaky listed on the shelter's website under his old name, the one he had when they adopted him. According to the Post, his picture had only been put up in the last hour. I called them immediately and no one answered. So the walkers drove to the shelter. It took several people to finally say he's already been adopted. I'm like, how can our cat be adopted like he's microchipped to us? Indianapolis Animal Care Services released a statement saying they made several calls to the number listed on the cat's microchip but got no answer. The statement went on to say by law, an owner has 32 business hours to claim a lost animal before it becomes the city's property and can go up for adoption. But the walkers say they never got any calls or messages, except for one call Friday from an unknown number they say they called back. And then it was one of those numbers that you can't leave a message at. The walkers wonder why the shelter didn't call the microchip company, whose number is also listed on Sneaky's microchip. The microchip company would have called me. Instead, Sneaky now belongs to another family. It's like, you know, someone just adopted your kid out without your permission. The walkers say when they begged the shelter to call the new owners to see if they could have Sneaky back. They just said to me, uh, no, we don't do that, and, and they're with a nice family now. They're now the walkers are hoping for a Christmas miracle. Whoa, we're, we're heartbroken. Emily Longnecker, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.